time traveler from the year 6491 returns from the future with chilling warning about looming natural disaster. The time traveler warns Yellowstone volcano will erupt and cause the United States to become dead for five years. A man who claims he is a time traveler from the year 6491 has warned there is going to be a series of devastating events on the planet. But the worst to hit Earth could be the eruption of Yellowstone Caldera. The man, who says his name is James Oliver, claims to be from another galaxy and says he is stuck in the year 2018. He says he is essentially an archaeologist who goes back in time to study different time periods and cultures. But he says he is here to warn us about something catastrophic. He says, I would be very cautious about the Yellowstone volcano. As all of you know it's overdue by about 600,000 years and an eruption that size would devastate the entire United States. And the biggest issue about an eruption like this is that it will produce a massive amount of ash into the atmosphere and the way your transportation mechanisms work, if you were to drive or fly through one of these ash storms you engines will be ruined. There will be no air travel the second Yellowstone erupts. The time traveler explains if it does erupt people need to get themselves to an airport as fast as possible to leave the country before they become trapped. He added that scientists have estimated it would take five years for the ash to dissipate at minimum. That in turn means nothing can be grown and the country will be dead for five years. He cannot say when it will happen but does say it will be within the next 200 years. The volcano is situated in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, U.S. And its peak measures 35 by 45 miles wide. Is time travel possible, or is it a far-off concept restricted to the realm of science fiction? The truth is time travelers exist among us today. How is this possible, and who are they? When talking about time travel, we so far only know of how to travel forwards in time, towards the future. The past still remains out of reach, at least in regards to our present understanding. Forwards time travel can be achieved through time dilation. When closer to a gravitational well relative to an observer, or traveling faster relative to a slower observer, the traveler will experience less time than the observer, effectively moving faster into the future relative to the observer. So what does this mean? The faster you travel, or the closer to a gravitational source you are, the further in time you travel. This theory was verified in the Hafiel Keating experiment, where two planes were fitted with atomic clocks, and one traveled eastward, while the other traveled westward. The eastward traveling plane followed the Earth's rotation, resulting in a greater velocity, and the westward traveling plane traveled against the Earth's rotation, resulting in a slower velocity. The results of the experiment show that the eastward traveling plane had lost 59 nanoseconds relative to a stationary atomic clock on the ground, and the westward traveling plane had gained 273 nanoseconds, indicating that time had actually slowed down on board. So what is the furthest any human has traveled in time? It would have to be someone who has been continuously traveling very fast for a very long time. A place where that has occurred is aboard orbiting space stations. Aboard the Russian space station Mir, cosmonaut Sergei Krikalev has traveled the furthest into the future by 0.02 seconds. To achieve this, he has spent the most time in space compared to any other human, 803 days, 9 hours and 39 minutes. While this may not sound like much, this time dilation is the most any human being has ever experienced. But how could we go significantly further into the future? To go significantly into the future would require more extreme forms of speed. The faster you travel, the further into the future you would be able to go in a shorter amount of time. Closer to the speed of light, an exponential increase in time dilation occurs. So extreme is the amount that at the speed of light, the entirety of time would pass instantly. So to a spacecraft traveling to Alpha Centauri at 90% the speed of light, the destination may be 4.37 light years away, but the time on board that has passed due to the high sea fraction would be significantly less since less time has passed on board. This high velocity method for time travel would allow years of time travel to take place between star systems. Another method could be to orbit a supermassive black hole. By doing so, time would pass much faster around the black hole due to its enormous gravity well. To travel close to a black hole seems perilous, however. Falling into the black hole would allow you to experience the largest amount of time dilation possible, as once you pass the event horizon, you would effectively appear still to an observer, and from your perspective, the entire viable time of the universe would speed past your eyes, assuming you're still alive to see at this point. 
The event horizon would eventually envelop the rest of your view of the universe and envelop you in the blackest darkness possible. So one day, if we venture beyond the reaches of our solar system, time travel will not only be theoretically possible, but a fact of life for interstellar travellers. A civilization that harnesses the energy of a black hole, for example, may need to deal with time travel as a serious hazard, and time travelling years into the future seems much easier to a civilization capable of travelling at significant fractions of the speed of light. So what could we use future time travel for? Leave some ideas in the comments below, and until